What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. This is episode 38. We have a... Oops, messed that up. No, no. Generator going to Los Angeles from Tucson. Uh, 11 hours. We should be able to get there in one go without having to stop and sleep. Oh, I don't want another job. I already have a job. I would hit the side. So do I got a story to tell you guys? I was having problems with that in the last episode what I was talking about which was getting the John Deere excavator with the dolly trailer um, I tried using this truck and it seemed like this truck wasn't strong enough and the dolly um, that's supposed to work on the truck that the two extra wheels in the front of the truck weren't working so I had to um, so, and so basically it wouldn't let me go, pa once I got on the on-ramp to the freeway, uh, I couldn't go any further than that, um, because, what is this guy doing? Weird, weird AI. Fine sit there all day long so I couldn't oh I got a big trailer I forgot about that I keep forgetting got a trailer not that I'd ever forget since I am playing American truck so the dolly wheels weren't turning and so I was trying to figure out why they weren't turning I tried lowering the wheels uh, liftable axles stuff like that nothing was working um, so it had something obvious to do with the mod um, I couldn't figure it out so I just decided you know what I'm just gonna uh, I gotta get over I'm just gonna scrap this episode so that's what I did I scrapped it well because I could because the truck was too heavy and it, it and the dolly wheels weren't turning so basically the truck would slide to the side ever so slightly and uh, you know I wasn't even able to get out of the cat yard that I was in uh, that's where I had picked it up at cat and that's where we just left was cat so I wasn't even able to get out of there so whoa that was a quick turn. I wasn't able to get out of there. And then once I was able to finally get out of there after probably like three minutes of going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, probably damaging my trailer a little bit more than I wanted to. Get over, buddy. Um, I got onto the freeway. And as soon as I was getting on the on-ramp and trying to go down the hill the truck did something weird it jackknifed and then it, it kind of like flipped over and I was like what the heck so I just abandoned the delivery I took out I, I took out the mod so that I don't see, hopefully I don't see it I haven't seen it uh, normally I'll see it in like the first couple of pages or in any in mostly all the cities but I didn't see it there train um so i just i was like okay whatever what is this oh just my game tripping out thought i saw like construction lights 
Um, so then I just decided to go. Maybe I needed something more powerful. More powerful, even though this is like, even though this truck has like 800 and something horse, 810 horsepower, or something like that. So I went and got the cat truck that I had, and I backed it in there, and then I loaded it up, and the dolly wheels were lifted up off the ground. So I was like, okay, maybe this will work. Um, even though the dolly wheels aren't going to turn, um, they're not touching the ground, so maybe that you know it's going to be easier to get around i got around the building i was going in a straight line to get out of the best buy don't ask me why the excavator was at best buy but it was at best buy uh well there's a lot of weird things that happen on this game you get tires and a dull truck whatever um so i was getting ready to get out of the parking lot or the from back behind the Best Buy to the to get out and make a left turn and my truck just tips over to the side like flips over real quick obviously I can't go anywhere I, I gotta either go to a service shop or abandon the mission or uh, abandon the delivery I abandoned the, the delivery I don't know what's going on with that um, oversized excavator um, I still have all the oversized stuff as you can see I, I have a generator on the back of this truck and there's like a big old bulldozer type thing but I got rid of the mod that has like the motel signs because I think that's the mod that has the oversized excavator in there so I, I believe I removed the mod if I didn't I'll find the mod and I'll remove it but I still have the low, low boy tra uh, low boy trailers pack in there because I do like the low boy trailers, which is the trailer I think the trailer that I'm using currently, uh, kind of low to the ground, and it's used for oversized hauling or even just uh, excavators, normal excavators or just like construction equipment stuff like that. So, I don't know what was going on with the mod, um, or the truck itself, the tra or the trailer itself. Going way too fast for this. Um, so yeah, I don't know what was going on going on with that particular job. Um, it what it had nothing to do with my truck. My truck was fine. This truck could you know can pull a, a lot of weight and then I went to the cat truck and the cat truck can pull a lot of weight as well that's what it's used for and that and you know it flipped it flipped over that one as well so I don't know I don't know I'm just not gonna pick that one or I'm gonna find if I haven't removed it from my folder yet if I find it in my uh, future deliveries I'm going to have to erase another mod um, I'm not exactly sure I mean I think I know which one it was that I removed that I had already, I had already just removed uh, before I started this episode but like I said if, if, it's, if it's somewhere else I'll remove it out of there but I think I got it so yeah that was the story i had to tell you it was quite weird i mean i started recording twice and it happened to me twice i was gonna just get those two like five to seven minute clips and upload those just to show you guys what happens when a mod doesn't work but I just decided to erase them com completely I should have saved them but uh, I don't know if you guys are really interested in you know what happens when a mod doesn't work or when a mod messes up it just makes your truck do dumb things just flip over for no reason is basically what had happened in, in my experience with it um, or you guys have seen like when I 
when I was trying to get all the mods fixed for when I did episode one on 5.0 or 5.1 when they did the five series uh, when I was working out the kinks I think it was called or whatever uh, I had the red police cars and the red garage and the red trucks that's a like a mod that's not working correctly or a mod that's you know not working with another mod so yeah but hopefully I fixed it I was really getting I was really excited to see how the cat truck drove uh, I like the feeling of it I think the gears need to be switched up I don't think it needs to be like an 18 speed I think it needs to be like uh, I, w I still want to try out that Ellison 6 speed I looked it up just to see exactly what it was. Well, I think I found it. I, I found a video. It was in like a a Ford F no Ford F six fifty or seven fifty or one of those big Ford trucks. One of those work trucks you would see. Or sometimes they make them into personal trucks and they have the bed on the back and the extra cab and whatnot. But uh, most of the ones that you see are work trucks. The Ford F650s, and I don't know if they make 750s, but I think it was a 650. Or it could have been a 550, but it was a big truck. Uh, and it had an Allison 6. Ellison six speed in it, but it was whoa, whoa! What the heck was that for? I don't understand what's going on with AI. That was AI's fault, not me. But anyways, it had an Ellison six speed, or what I think was an Ellison six speed, and it's basically like an automatic shifter. Um. I want to try it in one of these trucks that I have currently just to see if I'm going to be using my shifter or I just have to use just gas because uh, if I just have to, if it's going to be like an automatic I really don't want to use it um, but if I can use it on my six speed uh, gearbox that I have here because basically this is a, I mean, the truck in the game is 18 speed, but my gearbox is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then push down far left is reverse, so it's a perfect 6 speed would be nice. Um, but we'll just have to see what, I'll just have to test it first, and I just haven't got around to doing that. I've been playing this game probably every week. Or rec recording an episode or uploading an episode every week. Um, I've been wanting to play it more and more. I just really haven't had the time, and I really haven't want. Uh, I've been, like I've said, I've been kind of feeling sick, or uh, when I'm not feeling sick, you know, I'm trying to get over the the. Or I want to get out of the house. Or I want to do something besides sit at home. And either watch YouTube videos all day. Or record videos all day. Uh, most of the time. If I'm not feeling ill. I can sit here and, and record all day long. That's no problem. But when I'm not feeling good. Um, that's when I tend to just either watch movies. Or watch YouTube videos. Or I'll go and watch a movie in my living room and I'll be uploading a, uploading a video or two onto my YouTube channel. So I did upload uh, the rest of my Wildland stuff, so I'm going to have to start playing that again. 
upload a few in a row, which isn't very difficult. It's not as... Uh, I mean, recording episodes is not very difficult. Uh, the hardest part is with anything with online playing, like my Rainbow Six series. Um, anything with that is just finding the right group of people to want to play with. Um, or to play with at, in general, you know. Because I gotta find a good group, uh, not a good group, but a, a group of people that aren't gonna leave. That's just to exit and get back on the freeway. That aren't gonna leave the just going that pe people that just want to keep playing over and over and over and over again. But when sometimes you get into matches where people will leave, and then by the next match you're either waiting or you're trying to get into another match and it. And Rainbow Six, it takes time for some reason, because, well, not for some reason, because Ubisoft sucks, but we all know that already. So, I would say Rainbow Six is the hardest to record. Um, when, when I don't have friends online, or, you know, like recently, my, the friends that I normally play with, uh, they're normally, when they're working, um, I'm usually sleeping. And then by the time they get off of work, I'm usually like just waking up and I'm trying to figure out what if I feel, how I'm feeling and if I wanna uh, go out and have dinner or if I just wanna stay home and just chill out. And if I decide to just stay home and chill out, then I'll just stay in my pajamas all day and. Uh, just I'll be in front of my computer or I'll be in front of my TV and I'll just be either watching a movie or like I said watching YouTube videos I don't really don't have any uh, interest uh, or they really haven't they really haven't hit me up or if they did or if they have hit me up it's to play a game that I really don't want to play which is like Grand Theft Auto 5 I'm just I don't know I'm not really into the Grand Theft Auto as I used to to be when I was on console gaming. So, like my buddy really, really likes to play Grand Theft Auto V. He has like all the cars. He's got like a like a six-story garage with every single car that you can ever imagine. But he just likes to drive around the game in his cars and not like shoot up people or shoot people and kill people because that's kind of the point of the game well in the online version anyway or to do like a, a racing match against other people that's the only thing i get on gta 5 to do anymore is get online i'm either shooting and killing people or i'm uh doing like a racing series a racing uh like a five race deal where I'm racing against ten other people and we're just you know we're just racing all these different crazy maps with all these crazy different cars that I can't afford and I don't want to buy you know any of the shark cards because they're like they go from like 50 bucks to uh, like 200 bucks and it's fake money you use real money to get fake money for the game to buy a bunch of cars that people are always going to try to explode then you got to you know pay for the insurance and pay to get it out of insurance it's just a cycle i'd rather just use a bunch of crappy cars and let people crash and explode those or you know mess up mess with those cars as opposed to you know, having a nice car in a garage, it, you know, it's kind of like there's not, there's no point of that because, you know, I'm never going to be able to drive it unless I'm playing in a game where it's just me, where it's just me in the, in the server or on that particular server. Like hosting my own ma uh, match or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but you can, you can go solo and just drive around. 
but you're limited to what kind of missions you can do because you're by yourself and most missions require you to be with other people. And then the other buddy that I haven't seen for a while, I don't know where he's at. The only time I ever see him is on Discord. When I get onto Discord, I'll see, I'll see him there and he's online. And I'll say what's up, but I haven't seen him in like two weeks because I haven't personally been on Discord. So basically I've been playing games online with people, um, with random people. And I'm still able to get recordings in uh, with random people as opposed to with my friends that I was playing with for about a month and a half. And then I don't know if they just got bored of playing Rainbow Six or they're playing something else. So that game I was talking about a couple episodes ago, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, I thought it was 50 people, you and 49 other people. No, it's you and 99 other people. It's 100 people total jump out of a plane, and then you gotta gather supplies, guns, first aid kits, everything uh, that'll keep you alive during a gun battle. Um extra ammo and you want to get a backpack so you can uh, hold more items as opposed to just having a, a backpack that, that can only hold uh, you know or not a backpack but just having stuff in your pockets but uh I played it online for free uh, for about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and I was over it within like two matches. I was dead with, with I killed like one person, I was happy about that, but uh, I couldn't really do anything else. Um, I tried my hardest to you know stay alive and I got down to like the uh, like 15 players and I got well I got 15th place is what I got uh, 15 out of 100 is not bad uh, but you know it's not a game like Rainbow Six is a game I could play over and over and there's always different strategies uh, the well my, like I said I didn't play very long but player unknown battlegrounds is it's still the graphics are are very glitchy and buggy and um, th this is just my personal opinion uh, obviously but it it isn't it it's still pre-release, so it's not all the kinks aren't worked out. But pre, for a game that's pre-release, that's that would cost thirty bucks is kind of it's kind of pointless to me. Like you guys all know, I have a uh, game that's pre-release that costs me a hundred and forty bucks. And I don't want to get into that whole thing again. Just buying a pre-release game and not enjoying it. Right in my gears. I was gonna look on the map to make sure I had to get off here, but when it said like 10 miles, I go, I probably have to get off on this one because 
because I believe it's Beezer Holmes is here and then Cad is at the end. I believe is what it is. What does this say? Beezer Holmes. Is that what it says? Yep. I think we're going that way. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I think I can, no, I can't go from that way. I'll just back in. Cause I don't think it's right there. I think it's on the other building. Now, Big old generator. Let's not hit this wall like I just did. Or that van. think there's any cars over there. Well, there's a van right behind me, but Wow. I don't know why my shifter keeps coming loose. And that's what I'm doing right now is tightening my shifter. Okay. Set. Speed bump? It was a speed bump. So basically, we're aiming for that forklift back there to be our center line. I think. Hopefully. Don't like it. No auto park. I don't want you in my life. Yeah, that's still. I want the trailer to go to the driver's side, but it's not wanting to. Oh, now it's going, but now it's going too much.
I think it's kind of crookedy, but let's see. No, oh, that's well. Yeah. I can deal with that. It's a little bit off, but what's a few millimeters? I'm glad that I was able to record an episode today without without having a failure either in the middle or close to the end because that would suck. But we did 451 miles, 7 hours, 32 minutes, 66.7 gallons of fuel was consumed, $30,969 and 1,665 XP. Of course, we didn't level up. And let's see if we can find that truck. So I got Fontaine Magnitude Trailers, which is what these are. Don't know if anything's on there though. Uh, that's an empty trailer. This is an excavator, but it's not the same trailer, I don't think. Hopefully it's not, because if it is, then we're. We need to go and find the mod. Let's see if we can find another one. That's pretty cool. A wooden crate. And there's a bucket. Wheel loader bucket. Plows is normal. Foot brace. Empty. Large concrete walls. Empty. And then the same. See, this one actually says John Deere Excavator. The other one just said Deere Excavator with wheels or something crazy like that. Uh, and I believe that you couldn't really see. I don't remember, but it had front wheels. And I didn't like those at all. So you have a lot of the, a lot of the same jobs. Um, but yeah, we also have, you know, we have the cars, we have the frozen vegetables, the cheese, the gravel, and then we also have the empties, um, fruits, yogurt, gas, ventilation shaft, ethane, uh, diesel generator. Empty flour, beverages, rice, uh, show autos, which I, which I still wanted to keep in there. Now whatever this, oh excavator arm, that looks pretty cool. Top heavy, but looks pretty cool. And that that all has to do with the low bed XL or low boy uh, trailer mod that I have. So here's the, we had this one before, uh, the Hitachi Excavator, but it's just put on a different trailer, or maybe it's the same trailer. I think the other trailer was yellow. I'm not exactly sure on that one, though. Um... I saw a yellow truck somewhere. It had a digger on it. Oh, this one. I think it was put on the yellow trailer before. Or I could be wrong. But I like the, you know, the difference in jobs. Oh, here we go. John Deere JD 548. That's a long job. And then the digger. And as we go, I'll, you know, if any of these gravity wagon it's kind of like something you would want for uh, a farm um, and then we also have you know 
it didn't get rid of the other stuff like the cables that's normal and like i said all these are pretty normal the road rollers normal excavators normal diggers normal uh i even saw the small digger somewhere bulldozer um what is oh that one says vista fortune print on it vista print on the side um what else large see all the jobs are pretty much the same with the other one um it was pretty much dominated by i mean you do see a lot of these but they're in a lot of different cities uh you don't see them in the same city twice At least I don't think Oxnard, Oxnard, Oxnard. And then this is Page. So obviously you don't see them in the same city twice, kind of like you would see the oversized loads. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, that's Page and that's Phoenix. I was about to say. Um, so, yeah, you don't you don't see them in the same city twice, kind of like you would see the the oversized loads, like the motel signs, the construction equipment, the John Deere, not the Deere, not the John Deere, but just the Deere excavator with the two wheels on the front that I had in my last episode that I wanted to do, but ended up having problems trying to record this morning. So I ended up just taking it out but you'd see like four of those in one city so it's not dominated you got everything still the same all the stock um stock jobs are still there but you also have a little bit of variety of other stuff to do which i like so yeah i gotta get this truck fixed i don't know where we're at oh we're in los angeles so we'll um fast travel to, or I can just drive down here and uh, get the truck fixed. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the episode is kind of short. They're, they're getting kind of short, but th this is only because I'm trying out new jobs and you know, trying different things. Um, I'll go back to... I'll go back to my normal schedule. It's already gone already. Look at that. I don't know how they got it out of there. But I'll go back to my normal deliveries of like a thousand miles. You know, once I get over this little hump of wanting to record... Uh, oversized loads or just a variety of different stuff but if you know like if there's a uh, oversized load that'll go a thousand miles I'll definitely take it if I'm in the right city of course or I can fast travel to Bakersfield Sacramento or Tucson to get it I'll definitely use one of those cities as, as a fast travel point to do a you know, 600 mile and up job, or uh, I think we can go up to a thousand miles or maybe more up. I think it's up to 1500 miles, but I don't think anything in this game is that far. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will do longer videos, like I said, but I want to thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.